Hi, it's Andy Kelly, CEO of Sundial Consulting, dialing in from Mohonk Mountain. It's minus eight degrees centigrade, that's about 15 degrees Fahrenheit. It's freezing. <laughs> uh, we're near Poughkeepsie, where they film the Groundhog Day. I'm hoping by the time I get home, I'll be able to play the piano. <laughs> I'm up here with my very good friends from NAP Northeast, and today we're going to challenge ourselves to come up with a uniting common purpose for this team. You know, they've hit a few road bumps and they are holding themselves responsible for lifting their team, for helping their team fight towards a successful end to the year. So do you have a common purpose for your team? Do you know what common purpose is? Um, it's an essential ingredient for a high performing team. You have to have one, otherwise you're probably not a team. Um, it's something that binds you together. It's something that you can hold each other accountable to. It's something that you can celebrate together when you get there. It's typically more shorter term than a mission or a vision. Mission tends to be more like five years. Vision can be up to a hundred years. You know, a vision is something that's much more aspirational Probably something you'll never achieve, but you'll enjoy going towards it. You know, a good example of a vision is Coca-Cola. Put a can of Coke in arm's reach of everyone in the world, right? They'll probably never do it, but they're doing flipping well, aren't they? <laughs> There's normally one close by somewhere. Um, a common purpose is here and now. It really tells you what you need to do immediately together, right? Um, not as individuals. It's something that you do together as a team. It's not necessarily something that you brand around. You can do, but that's not the point. The point is, is that you can look each other in the eye. You can agree to it and commit. You can support each other through the journey and you can hold each other accountable and behave interdependently as you go towards it. Um, it's nice if it's summarized in a short statement that you can all remember, maybe put on a t-shirt. <laughs> Um, and it's quite hard to get to the answer, right? Because we've all got different views of what we're trying to do in our job and, and in our team and in our organization and our strategy. And the process of becoming to a common purpose is really good because it draws that out from people. You're asking them to commit to something, right? And they start to talk about what they care about. They start to talk about themselves. They start to talk about why they come to work, what they want to be proud of, how they want to be recognized, how they want to grow and develop. And often those views are different, right? Uh, which is good. Then it starts to get a little bit uncomfortable. Um, and when you get uncomfortable, you get creative, right? You start to spark new ideas. You get that cognitive flexibility. You get that, uh, that friction, right? That brings creativity. So I'd ask you to think about, could you come up with a common purpose of your, common purpose of your team? Um, it's a simple exercise, although as I say, it's quite tough to come to the answer. I'll give you an example. Um, one that was given to me by my mentor, it was Clive Woodward and the 2003 England World Cup winning rugby team. We just lost the recent one. It's been that long since we won one. <laughs> we don't win many World Cups anymore. We're a small country, um, but they did. They won the World Cup against the Aussies in Australia. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that, does it? <laughs> Can you imagine what, they, what it was? Can you imagine what their common purpose was? Something that united the whole team, everybody that was in the team, whether they were washing the uniforms or whether they were scoring tries. Um, it was make the nation proud. How about that? In everything that they did, right? Um, when they went on the pitch, they supported each other. They went after every tackle. When they went in at half time, they showered, brand new kit, came out pristine head up. When they were on the media, when they were on TV or the radio, they were professional, they were upstanding, right? It felt good to be English when you heard them. Um, when they went to the pub, they didn't put beer over their head and they didn't put their pants or trousers around their ankles. <laughs> That's what they'd normally do. They didn't this time. <laughs> And, um, and they won and you felt great. It felt great to be English that year. Make the nation proud. It told everybody in that team what they needed to do to be successful in every act and every decision they made and every priority that they put in place. Okay, so the simple exercise is this. Have a conversation about some of the things that are going on in your business around you, some of the enablers that are helping you, some of the blockers that are stopping you being successful. Um, put them all into a hopper, all into a funnel. And then ask everybody in the team just to write down one sentence that summarizes 
what they think the common purpose of that team should be. Typically, everybody writes something different to start with. And then you just need to have a creative process where you spend time together discussing why you wrote what you wrote and try and come up with something that everybody can agree to. No voting. Everyone has to buy in. Everybody has to be committed. You need to look them in the eye. OK, um, try not to get too wordsmithy. Um, try not to just come up with buzzword bingo. Really deeply think about what it is you need to do now as a team. What is the point of you? Why do you even come together for meetings? To do what? Okay, it's a great process. I'd love to hear how you get on. I'd love to hear some examples of the common purposes that you come up with. I'm heading back down the mountain to spend a day with the team, warm up with a nice cup of coffee. <laughs> Bye for now. Andy Kelly, CEO of Sundial Consulting. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please share it with your friends and let us know with a like or a comment. But more importantly, please subscribe on the button below. And also, if you really don't want to miss out on any of our great insights from me and my team, please also click the little bell. Okay, we look forward to speaking to you soon. For now, Andy Kelly, Sundar Consulting. Thank you.